guys, it's Destiny here. Welcome back to the video, and today we're back in again, folks, for another Power Ranger related video. Last time we talked about the five times Power Rangers has got canceled. Another time we were talking about the three Power Ranger concepts. You guys haven't seen. If you guys haven't seen those videos. It'll be down below, right below the like button, in the description. Ten likes on this video, folks. Today we're talking about a Power Rangers. Rangers, of course, in Set the Dead are called Power Rangers. Rangers are not exclusive to Power Rangers. You guys know Set they ask their own Rangers, right? Sentai has everything previously Ranger except for those blips and their powers, am I right, folks? And of course, we don't got Gold Boss or so huge or so you know they got their own stuff. But over here in the USA, USA, we got our own Power Ranger, folks. We had them. All around, we got them in toys, we got them in comics, we got them in video games. So I'm gonna talk about the most interesting ones today. Um, it's pretty cool. So without further ado, let's get right into it. These are the the Rangers that are exclusive to you. I don't even know what time I'm gonna play. So uh, let's, let's just roll with it. Um, here's one disappointing one. The the Dark Rangers from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. There were from Mighty Morphin Season Two in the episode Green No More. So they made up this this suit. It's very disappointing. It's basically the Mighty Morphin suit, but without everything. There's a Z on it, and their masks are weird. They're weirdly cut. These are very disappointing. I think after that episode, Saban's like, we're not making any more. We're just going to put up Sentai footage. Yeah, it was very disappointing. Now, we didn't get any other exclusive Rangers like that are have their own suit design. Everything else after that was more like... Uh, kind of, uh, how do I say this, like, little, little changes, like, you know, we had the Wild West Rangers, they had the Mutant Rangers, uh, Light and Speed Rescue had Cyborg Rangers, so, they had those little, little changes to the suits to make them a little different. But we didn't get our first actual, exclusive, main Ranger, until Light Speed Rescue with, uh, Ryan Mitchell, the Titanium Ranger! So he's the first Ranger that has no corresponding Super Sentai counterpart. Um, it was even kind of mentioned at Gokaiger, because they, when they were going to transform into a Gogo 5, a uh, guy couldn't really do much, so. Well, I'm out. His design is, uh, it's, 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 it's silver, it's gray, titanium's not a color, but you know, power range, we'll just roll with it, folks. Um, it's re it's really cool, the suit's really cool, it, it goes along with the rest of the range, and he fits right in, basically. They also have an M symbol on the suit, which basically it's supposed to kind of associate himself with the Zord, the Max Solar Zord and Lightspeed Rescue. So they really thought all this out. They really want to make him look like he, he's always been there. He's always been there, but just America all season him because, you know, God bless America, all right, folks? His, 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 his titanium laser, his weapon, did not even have a sense I can't forget it. So they even made more stuff. A lot of people thought that his suit was based on Turbo Ranger suits, but no, it's not. We're Power Rangers. God bless America, right, folks? Yeah, but... It's cool that we had our own American original counterpart or whatever, but due to that, since he wasn't a lot of Sentai footage, we'd even, we'd even see him a lot. Most of the scenes, they showed him unmorphed, um, looking for a way to stop the Abolico or whatever, right? So they didn't have enough budget to use both Sentai footage, as well as make new footage for the Six Ranger, so it kind of sucked, you know. At least we got one. They even put him in the Legendary War. Granted, without the full mask, because his mask was a little breather, which it sucked. I don't even know what this is. The Phantom Ranger, basically the Phantom Ranger, is a toy inclusive ranger designed for Dino Thunder. He's made out of five parts, and each of the boxes of the five rangers, you know, the main, main five ranger of Dino, Char of Dino, Dino Charge, Dino Thunder. Basically, that's a part of him, so when you put them all together, he makes he makes that thing. We call him the Phantom Ranger. Uh, Phantom's not a color, and... This guy does not look black. Uh, he's like a mix of everything. It would be cool if they made like a him and Sue in the actual power. Range. I wonder how that would look, but it's toy. What do you know? <laughs> Next one that I want to talk about is the Ace Squad Ranger. As the Ace Squad Ranger looks lit AF. I always love this suit. They're like Power Rangers that are going to go paintballing, right? So their helmets are based on the Mega Rangers or Power Rangers in space, of course. Except for black. Black was repainted green. You know, they are that to match the SPD Rangers, right? Uh, no toys were made of them, though, sadly. So we didn't get any toy versions of these. But these suits were super cool, right? A Squad was great. I loved A Squad. So they really made a lot of them to make them stick out. SPD did have a lot of original suits, though. Uh, some more than others, obviously. We had Boom. 
which only appeared for an episode, right? But I loved Boom Suit. I wish Boom actually became a ranger. Actually, he knows actors in Ninja Steel now. He played Mick. Also, SPD had a, uh, what, 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 what was that? I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah! Uh, uh, Sky's dad, Officer Tate. Basically, the Time Force suit with an SPD logo right on it. Good job, Disney. Very original. Good. They didn't want to make a new suit. They were too lazy. But they weren't lazy in the next show, let me tell you that much. Power Rangers, Jungle Fury, Spirit Rangers. Those were pretty cool. I liked them. Once again, they didn't have any Sentai counterpart, but they wanted to make Rangers that were based on a specific Zord. Titanium Ranger, of course, was the Max Solar Zord, but these had their, you know, the Elephant Zord, the Shark Zord, and the Bat Zord. So, these were produced by Plex, right? Plex is the company that makes all the Sentai suits, and, and they worked with Disney at the time to make these suits. And these, these Rangers were kind of weird, too. Like, the, the, the people that had the powers, they're actually... We're actually, we're not actually in the suits, they were controlling them, so it was super weird, so that's why we didn't see him morph a lot. So the Masters were Rangers 20 years ago, now inhabiting Beast Bodies. They were also in the comic, by the way. In that comic, they are now training the Jungle Fury Rangers in place of their master of the show. But no, they were actually cool, and they also had action figures too for these guys, uh, which actually included their regular modes. Because, you know, in the series, we only saw them in the Jungle Master modes, because, you know, they're already Masters, folks. But in, in, the, in the toy line, they had ones which were not masters, but I'm guessing which were those masters 20 years ago. So 20 years ago, the suits would be looking like that. So that's also pretty cool. Another cool thing I want to mention that did not happen in the show, but it did happen in the toy line was Power Rangers, RPM, the the Paleozords. They had Paleozords had their own respective figures. All oh, there was a crimson one, a cyan one, a gray one. Uh, they even had their own weapons, which were cool. Uh, they were train rangers. They also beat Tokyo to it. Power Rangers were smart. Obviously, it didn't happen in the show because, you know, they went off budget already in the first few episodes. And also, their names sounds a little like the their uh, their zoo ranger names. And the mom is ranger. So, yeah, all these weapons would combine eventually to the one of the big mega blasters thing that they would shoot the monster all together now. But... It really sucks they weren't in the show though, but uh, you see toy reviews on YouTube and they actually look really cool. Uh, and I wish they would have made, you know, the Croc Ranger or the Whale Ranger, that would have been cool. Imagine all 12 Rangers in the show, that would be cool. Uh, next one. <laughs> Samurai had their own original Rangers in a sense. Well, actually, this Ranger of uh, the armor was used for the Battleizer in a sense, but the Battleizer was also a Ranger. The Grand Shogun, basically, with the Power Ranger Samurai, is one of the old Shogun Rangers descended from the ancient Samurai Rangers from 300 years ago, right? Um, it's pretty cool. All five of them have their own Shogun counterparts, so these are technically new suits, new Rangers, technically battleizers. It's very weird and confusing, but they do look really cool, and then they have figures of them. There's also some video game exclusive rangers, especially the Power Rangers Super Legend game, which had a storyline that would have been pretty cool if it was a movie or it was a multi-part show. He appeared in the Super Legends, the Omega Ranger. It's not the same Omega Ranger from SPD. It's a completely different Omega Ranger. We don't know if it's Sam. It's heavily implied that it's Sam, but basically, it's Sam from many, many years into the future, and he's time traveling to get the rangers back to defeat Lord Zed, who's getting the crystals. Even as his own legend, sword legend, blast, he's a legend, man. He also, uh, it's, 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 woo, it's pretty cool. They even have another ranger, the Guardian Ranger, which basically, all, we only saw its face and its robe, but it's still pretty cool, and I would have liked to see both of them have their own live action form. The Guardian basically is the, the almighty god of the Power Rangers, and the Guardian Ranger basically recruits the Omega Ranger to fight them. And the Guardian Ranger was cool because it had the Power Ranger symbols, the lightning bolts on its on its uh, on its helmet. So basically these two these two suits look a lot like Omega uh, Omega Nova. But that's not the point. Next one. <laughs> Next one, the last one today is the Power Rangers from the comic books. Uh, we don't know a lot about them. I don't I personally do not read the comic books. But these are these are cool rangers too. Lord Draken, which is uh, Tommy Oliver. He's evil and older, and he he drives the power from the Green Ranger and the White Ranger. He looks super lit. Like, there's a ridiculous cosplay of this. This is the mysterious 
Dragon Zord Range, it looks lit. There's also Surge, uh, the all new Blue Ranger. Has pink symbols all over him, it's, it's very weird. There's also Brit, uh, the Red Ranger, who's a female. And the suits, they even, they have their whole team. That, it looks weird. But that's not the point. These are the all new Power Rangers, which all have nice new suit designs. Power Rangers is crazy throughout the year. That's basically it for today's video. Oh, lordy Jesus. Um, want to see more? Leave a like. Ten likes to definitely do some more. Thank you guys for watching. Messing have a great day. And of course, as always, Dad's and everybody. It's more for time. Ninja Spam. Nickelodeon. Do you have it? Let's go to Mo and find out the official results. Whoa.